What's up, everybody? Joey Baker here with Triple Play Fantasy. I'm here to bring you another must-add player for your fantasy football roster. Before I go into today's player, though, I do want to shout out Puka Nakua. If you were able to pick him up off waivers like I suggested last week, you were in for a treat. He went out there, he didn't only meet his week one numbers, he went out there and he exceeded them, uh, which was incredible against a very good 49ers defense. So congratulations to you. Uh, Puka Nakua and to you fantasy owners who have Puka Nakua, keep putting him in your lineups. He's going to keep giving you those numbers that you love to see and hopefully bring you more wins. But without further ado, here's another player that I think is going to uh, help you out this week in hopefully getting some more wins. Uh, and his name is Josh Reynolds, wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. He is 21% rostered in Sleeper, 12% in Yahoo, and 4.3% in ESPN. So he is out there and he is available. And I also don't think that he's going to be the most common pickup this week. I think guys like Jaden Reed and Robert Woods, uh, they might be a little more targeted than Josh Reynolds. So you may not have to spend as much as you did on Puka last week to get Josh Reynolds. Um, but I think he's going to put up the numbers that you need to hopefully get some fantasy wins. So what has Josh Reynolds done so far this year? In week one, he had four catches for 80 yards on seven targets. Week two, he had five catches for 66 yards, and he found the end zone twice, which is huge for fantasy. You're going to get most of your points from touchdowns. And the fact that he had two last week is a great sign going forward. Uh, the Detroit Lions have a pretty good run pass ratio they had 35 passes to 34 rushes in week one and they had 35 passes to 27 rushes last week against seattle which was a little bit more of a shootout so that's why they had more passes than runs and also um there was something that happened last week david montgomery got injured and he's going to be out most likely at least one week possibly more uh, he said himself that he might take a few weeks to heal and i don't think the lions are going to want to throw Jameer gibbs into a heavy workload this early in his rookie season. So they might lean into that pass game a little more, which means more targets for Josh Reynolds. He has shown that he is the number two receiver in this offense. Marvin Jones hasn't really done anything through two weeks. And Jamison Williams is still on the shelf with a suspension. And even when Jamison Williams comes back, I don't know if he's going to be ready to take that number two spot because we don't know how his hamstring is. We don't know how he is uh, in general because we, we haven't seen him much since he's been drafted. He's been hurt or suspended. And that's scary. Um, so I think you can be really confident in picking up Josh Reynolds and sliding him into your roster. He's been the wide receiver 12 through two weeks. So the fact that there is a top 15 fantasy receiver out there on waivers this week is a good sign for you and is someone you're going to want to target to pick up and be ready to put into your rosters right away. So I wish you the best of luck. I hope you're able to go out there and get Josh Reynolds just like Puka Nakua in week one. Best of luck, go get some fantasy wins, and I will see you all next week.